Ahoy me boys, it is Captain K and welcome back to another armor testing video. In today's video, we're going to test every caliber against slick armor. We're not going to do every bullet, but the most common meta, quote unquote, and just common rounds that I use and I see people using. All right, let's lift anchor. We're going to start off with some 9x19 AP. Good old armor piercing bullet. I actually did an entire YouTube video on this back at 11.7. I'll put the link below. 16 shots. Not so bad coming out of the MPX. So now a non-armor piercing but high flesh damage round. And uh, we didn't have any sights for the Glock this time, but that's okay. This close, you don't really need Glock sights. 21 shots. As expected, a lot more. How about some AP slugs out of the good old M87? And let's hyper reload. Okay. Eight shots. There you have it. Out of a 153, you could get that done in one two, but you'd have to hit all your shots. How about some 762 by 51 M61? The meta ammo. Two shots. Easy. Imagine a 50 round mag of this down a hallway. Crazy stuff. So we're going to test M82. M80, five shots, pretty good, pretty good. So, M62, this is a tracer round. We're gonna see how nasty it is. Oh, that's nasty. Would you look at that great Tarkov weather? Nice and rainy. Here we go, nine by 39, seven and nine SPP. Five shots, there you have it. The rate of fire on the Valen VSS is insane. This stuff is coming at you very, very quickly. I mean, you could take down entire rooms of people with a 30 round mag of this. And that's Cinco. Five shots. Not bad at all. Some more meta ammo. 5.45 by 39 BS. Some of the good stuff. Not gonna lie, I expected it to take less shots, but let's try out a Gonic and see how that goes. So this is the absolute best of 545 by 39. The most expensive in Gonic. Three shots, that's much better. This is some pricey stuff and you're definitely getting what you pay for. 5.7, out of a 5.7. Although keep in mind, if you shoot out of a P90, it's gonna kill somebody way quicker than this. This is so I can slow it down and show you. 11 shots. We're gonna test some 5x7x28L191 here. Unless somebody slick is already beat up and worn down, you're probably not gonna win unless you catch them by surprise or have a P90. 13 shots. Now, the SB-193 ammo. I did an entire video on this, and then they nerfed it, like, four days later. Feels bad, man. But the video's still up on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. 13 shots. About on par with L-191. Moving forward to the shrimp ammo. 9x21, SP-13. Yeah, 11 shots. Maybe go for those leg and stomach shots. The best pistol in the game. Kappa. We might be here a little while. We're gonna need a magazine reload here. Now full auto, this process happens a lot quicker. We're at 20 shots already. Let's see how many more it takes. 27. Nearly one and a half mags. Pretty gnarly. 
9 by 18 PMM is a high pressure cartridge that goes in the APB and the Clin. I did a whole video on it called Clint Budget Build Plus Armor Test. I'll put it in the description below. When I tested it, it was comparable to 9mm AP. That's 20 shots. A full magazine to the chest and you're taking them out. If you can catch them by surprise, that's doable. Mosin man, take me by the hand. Okay, that's enough of that. 7 and 1 armor testing time. I always thought 7 and 1 was pretty meta. And then after trying this, I mean, it still is against lower tier armors, but 5 shots? I'm probably not going to use it if I run the Mosin, which I don't because I don't like it. So let's test the 7 and 37 round. This is a much more efficient round. Two shots. Catch somebody from across the map easily with two shots to the thorax. For a real fun one, how many shots does it take? 762 by 25TT PST GZH. Yeah, we're going to need to reload. That's 16. That's 20. 20 shots. So how about something a little more efficient? Like 556x45M995? Four shots. That's what I expect out of the best of 556. It's really common to see people run M856A1 because it's cheaper. So I'm going to do a quick test on it as well. Now, it's going to take you 10 shots, but that's still a third of a 30-round mag. Get your popcorn, because this one's going to be a long one. How many shots does it take to kill somebody with some EKO ammo? We might have missed that round, so I'm going to subtract one. Yeah, we're just going to forward through that reloading there. I mean, these bolt actions, they just take forever to shoot. Is that 12? That's 16. That's 19 shots. Damn, son. Just go for the head. Don't even try the thorax. The next test. We're doing this semi-auto to slow it down. I mean, when you put into perspective that Full auto, you're spraying really quickly. Nine shots is not that bad. Subsonic ammo. We don't need no damn irons, okay? Hashtag no irons gang. For this next one, I did a very in-depth PS12B armor test video. It was one of my more recent videos. I'll put it in the link below if you care to catch it. This is a massive round, so it's not going to take many shots to take care of it but it is going to take six in this instance the common 762 by 39 ps round that most people use early game and if they don't have money end game 11 shots from ps now how about the stronger 762 by 39 bp five shots that is a quick time to kill last but not least we're testing the 2070 slug. Right. Now, realistically, you probably won't be shooting somebody repeatedly in the thorax like this. You're going to want to go for the head. I knew it would take a lot of shots. Like, going into this, that the Taz was going to take a lot of shots. And here I'm proven right. Sixteen shots. Completely ineffective against Slick. In conclusion, the most efficient rounds against the best armor are as expected. The meta M995, M61, M62, 7 and 37, and the Gonic all killed our target dummy Afflicted Ego with less than 5 rounds. The worst performing rounds were the 2070 Star Slug, the 366 TKM EKO, the 762x25 TT PST GZH, and 9x18 PMM. No surprise as none of them are suited for armor piercing purposes. Regardless, this gives us a solid idea as to where in game ammo is at this point and why end wipe you have no excuse to skip out on ammo when the playing field is full of thick boys. 
I stream most nights starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Captain K. If you guys enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, maybe share it with a friend. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.